day class my name is Afolabia Dimolo Ladapo I am your mathematics teacher for today the topic we want to look at today is binary operation 2 lesson objectives by the end of the lesson students will be able to 1 state properties of binary operation. Two, solve problems involving binary operation. Three, apply binary operation in real life situations. In a previous lessons on binary operation, we discussed what binary operation is, rules of binary operation, and some properties of binary operation, namely closure property and commutativity property. In this lesson, we are going to look at associativity property, distributivity property, identity element, and inverse element. Here we go. Associativity property. Suppose a non-empty set S is closed under a binary operation star, then A, B contained in S implies that A star B is combined with C contained in S, and we may write this result as Bracket open A star B bracket closed star C contained in S. Therefore, if B combines with C first, then A star bracket B star C bracket closed assumed that A combines with the result of B star C for all A, B, C contained in S. Then we say that the operation star is associative over the set S. That is, bracket open A star B bracket closed star C is equal to A star bracket B star C bracket closed. However, if otherwise, then the operation star is not associative over S. That is, bracket A star B bracket closed star C is not equal to A star bracket open B star C bracket closed. Example, given the operation star defined on the set of real numbers R by A star B equals to A plus B plus AB is the operation star associative over R solution. A star B is equal to A plus B plus AB. Then, for any C in R, bracket A star B, bracket closed, star C is equal to Bracket open A plus B plus AB bracket closed star C is equal to A plus B plus AB plus C plus bracket open A plus B plus AB bracket closed times C is equal to a plus B plus AB plus C plus AC plus BC plus ABC 
is equal to a plus b plus c plus a b plus a c plus b c plus a b c also a star bracket open b star c bracket closed goes as b star c is b star c is equal to b plus c plus b c therefore a star bracket open b star c bracket closed is equal to a plus b plus c plus b c plus a bracket open b plus c plus b c bracket closed is equal to a plus b plus c plus b c plus a b plus a c plus a b c is equal to a plus b plus c is equal to a b plus a c plus b c plus a b c therefore by the result we can see that bracket a star b bracket close star c is equal to a star bracket open b star c bracket closed hence the conclusion that the operation star is associative over the real number r bye for now meet you after timeout welcome back class the next property we are looking at is distributivity property suppose that a non-empty set s is closed under the operation star and delta if for all a b contained in s a star bracket open b data c bracket close is equal to a star b data a star c then the operation star is left distributive over the operation data while if b data c in brackets star a is equal to b star a data c star a the operation is right distributive over the operation data however if a star bracket open b data c bracket close is not equal to a star b data a star c then uh, then star does not distribute over delta for example the operations star and lambda are defined on the set r of real numbers by a star b is equal to a b for all a b contained in r a data b is equal to a over b for all a b contained in r a does star distribute over data b does data distribute over star solution there exists an element c in r such that a star bracket b data c bracket closed is equal to bracket a star b bracket closed data bracket open a star c bracket closed by expansion a a star b lambda a star bracket open b data c bracket bracket closed is equal to a star b in brackets data a star c in brackets the left hand side equal to right hand side there the left hand side a star b data c that is a star bracket open b data c bracket closed 
is equal to a bracket open b delta c bracket closed is equal to a b over c the right hand side now bracket open a star b bracket closed delta bracket open a star c bracket closed is equal to a b delta a c is equal to a b all over a c which is equal to b over c since left hand side is not equal to the right hand side therefore star does not distribute over b question b a data brackets open b stars c bracket closed a uh, data bracket open b star c bracket closed is equal to bracket open a data b bracket closed star bracket open a data c bracket closed so left hand side equals to right hand side the left hand side is a data bracket open b star c bracket closed is equal to a over b star c which is equal to a over b c right hand side says bracket open a data b bracket closed star bracket open a data c bracket closed is equal to a data b in brackets times a data c in brackets is equal to a over b times a over c which is equal to a square over b c since left hand side is not equal to the right hand side the operation does not distribute over star by for now meet you after the timeout for the next segment welcome back class the rest part we want to look at are two properties where one depends on the other firstly the identity element given the non empty set s which is closed under a binary operation star if there exists an element e contained in s such that a star e is equal to e star a is equal to a for all a contained in s then e is a neutral element in s under the operation star this property is unique example an operation star on the set r of rational numbers is defined by a star b is equal to a plus b minus 1 all over 2 for all a b containing r find a neutral element in r under the operation star solution a star b is equal to a plus b minus 1 all over 2 therefore a star e is equal to a plus e minus 1 all over 2 is equal to a therefore a plus e minus 1 all over 2 is equal to a so a plus e minus 1 is equal to 2a therefore e is equal to 2a minus a plus 1 therefore a e is equal to a plus 1 now the last property is the inverse element this property depends on identity element. Consider an empty set S, which is closed under the binary operation star. If X is contained in S, and we have an element X prime contained in S such that X star X prime is equal to X prime star X is equal to E. Therefore, X prime is called the inverse of X in S. Example. From the above example on identity element, the inverse can be found as follows. A star A prime is equal to E. A star A prime is equal to A plus A prime minus 1 all over 2 is equal to E. This implies 
a plus a prime minus one all over two is equal to a plus one, where a plus one is the identity earlier found. It implies a plus a prime is minus one is equal to two into bracket a plus one by multiplying through by two. Making a prime the subject of the formula, a plus a prime minus one is equal to two a plus two. Therefore, a prime is equal to two a minus a plus two plus one. Therefore, a prime is equal to a plus three. Note, it is worthy of note that this binary operation has a very close relationship with modular arithmetic. Here we draw the curtain. Have a blessed day, class. Mm -hmm.